Hey everybody and welcome back. My name is Sue and I'm from OML Embroidery and over there at the computer. Roll out there Don so you can say hi. No, there, there he is. Yeah. Hello. There you go. The Sue Cam shared with Don. Oh, thank you. There he goes. Yeah, awesome. So, welcome back everyone. In this video, we are going to be working on the next block after this. This one is my favorite block. Uh, I used variegated thread and I love it. I absolutely love it. So this is the mountain scene by Sweet Pea. I'm doing the 6x10 size and I'm doing it on my brother Dream Machine 2 who had some surgery. I'll explain in a minute. And uh, I'm using grays. It's going to be, you know, a gray tone. And it's turning out beautiful. I'm really happy with it. Although, I really think I want to do one with bright colors as well. Like the greens and the blues and batik fabric. But so far, I'm loving this. I, I think maybe two of them could hang together. So it would be like a dull day and then a bright day. Something like that. I don't know. What do you think, Don? Something like that? Something like that. <laughs> All right. We got a lot of work to do today. So let's go to, actually, it's right there, this one. Let's go to the desk cam. Okay, then. No intro. <laughs> you're up. No intro. Oh, I was waiting. Hold on. Don, you're supposed to do the intro. Well, you said desk cam. All right. That's, that's fine. Desk cam. Desk cam. All right, here we are at the desk cam. Got my scissors ready, got everything ready. We finally, after three months, got McDreamy's new plate. So I don't know how well you can see. Maybe I'll take a, a picture. Now you guys can't see very well, but um, you can see the nicks on it. So hopefully a new plate and three months later, uh, it'll work a little bit better. It's extremely dry in our house, so it kind of sucks. Oh, yes, my Valentine's nails. What do you guys think? Because Valentine's tomorrow. You'll be able to see see them better at McDreamy, but it's all got glitter and shine and, you know, fun stuff. Oh, Lynn says, with the Sue Cam, we can see the dogs, maybe. Well, I've got a wiener dog on the couch right here, absolutely sound asleep, happy as pie. And the other two are up in bed with um, Beatrice. So we're not going to disturb them. Maybe at the end, though. How's that? Maybe at the end we can call them out. Okay, so this time I made sure I cut the right size of everything i ironed at 7 30 in the morning so everyone should be you know pretty proud of me for that so definitely the right size is definitely everything i'm gonna throw in the print that i used on the mountains for one of the hills i have everything labeled so i can remember where it goes no guessing because all the grays are so close and we are going to be starting with the water now what i've decided to do is for the water pieces i'm going to use this very very light uh, blue so it's pretty close to the silver blue this one's kind of greeny um and just no oh, that's white <laughs> kind of white so that's the regular silver see it looks green when you put it beside it it's kind of weird but anyways it's just a very very soft blue it's the softest one i could find for the mountains so this is for the water not the edges but the inside quilting i'm going to use the variegated thread for um the mountains quilting that match so it matches and then just gray so um if what are you laughing at Cindy says did you get the ironing on video no but it's <laughs> i should have proved it i was in my pajamas ironing and don just stared at me i'm like yeah 
No, is that it? Remember in the 80s, <laughs> pics or it didn't happen? Pictures or it didn't happen? That's what we used to say. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's go to McDreamy, who is my brother Dream Machine 2, and we're going to test out his new plate, and we need to get started. So are we over, Don? Yep. You, you got to remember to I say it, man. Oh, you interrupt me all the time. Well, I didn't want it. <laughs> so we're going to start with the water. I actually had to go and ask Don to look this up because I'm like, what is this? What is this? What is this? It's not the right shape, but obviously this is going over it. I just want to make sure I had the right file because, you know. So soft um, mesh cutaway stabilizer. So it's just lovely. Warm and natural batting. Now, I already went ahead and stitched that down. It is just the first step. You just um, put the batting down. It's going to stitch out the square, and then you um, trim it. That's all I did. So now we're going to start with our applique. So, McDreamy in the dry house. Let's see. So the first is, Lynn, you can answer this. What's the first part? Everyone's like, you finally got your new plate. I know, right? It took, uh, it took way forever. Oh, also new bobbin, and as always, it'll never change. A 7511 needle. Woo. Woo -hoo -hoo. There we go. So that's that's a big one. Maybe for time purposes, I should have... too busy saying hello, so <laughs> Misha said placement. Thank you, Lynn, Misha. Lynn said it afterwards. <laughs> it's just Lynn, you know, we got to... We're, we're going to be off of um, lockdown shortly, so maybe we can have Lynn over and do some fun stuff. Yay. Yay, Lynn. Would you like that? Yay, yep. Arlen. Okay, so, Don... We, we need to figure something out about this thread issue. Because that's... I'll continue to rack my brain. It's got me... It's got puzzled. you what? Puzzled. You're only puzzled with it when <laughs> I'm using it and I complain loudly. Because we don't think about it otherwise. Uh, you don't. <laughs> I use McDreamy. Mom it's... says hi. Hi, Mom. <laughs> not fighting with your son. I'm just trying to get some help for sure. Donna Judd. Thank you very much, Donna. Cute little, I don't even know what it is. Oh, it's a lemon. <laughs> Cute little lemon. So we're just stitching this down and this is my first watercolor. So I'm using light colors, but not as light as the clouds. So it should look pretty good. Now, I didn't rewind it far enough there, but I think that's going to be fine. Is this folded fabric? What's the next step? I should have looked. All right, back to the desk, Don. All right, we're going to do... All right, you might not be able to see all of my trimming because, again, it's a 7 by 12 hoop because we have not solved the mystery of the 6x10 hoop. So, yeah. That's, that's an ongoing mystery. <laughs> <That's> a, <laughs> we just simply don't have one. But I think you found a really good hiding place for it. Oh, come on. That's you that does stuff. Oh. How can you hide a 6x10 hoop, for goodness sakes? I can find a place. I bet. <laughs> I bet. All right, back to McDreamy. The color seems kind of off at the desk. Uh, it's 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 not too off. They're pretty much the same. They've been reset the defaults. Okay, so what is this step? I don't know what this is. I should have looked. I'm just going to see what the next one is. Yep, it is folded fabric. So there we go, because it's just a line. So this is water two. So you guys can see on my McDreamy screen what I did because I could see that it's just a line that we're stitching. Now, I need a good design. I'm used to getting, still getting, you know, the placement part. So just check. 
There we go. So your fabric for folded fabric needs to be face down. Don't forget about your seam allowances everywhere. And then it's just going to stitch a running stitch across. So yeah, if you don't if you don't remember what the next step is, just peek ahead. I think folded fabric will be lovely. I believe so too. I can't wait to see what my blue is gonna look like. So that's how I knew it was folded fabric. It was a line, and then this one here is just like the outside of it. So yeah, it's easy to figure out. Every designer, every company is going to do it a little bit differently. Ah, uh, see, without the placement line, I hope I don't have to pick this out. You know what I mean, Vern? Mm -hmm. I might not have put it up high enough. Let's see. I'm worried about this part. So this is now stitching down our folded fabric. Yee. Nope, I'm well and good. Okay, nothing to worry about, nothing to see here. There we go. So if you don't have nice pictures like McDreamy, then you would have to print out the instructions so you know what step is next. Yeah, it's harder to see on some screen. Yeah, yeah. Back to the desk, Don. Desk up. Desk's up. So, right, oh, it's hard to get the whole thing on here. So, we got to be mindful of the... Ooh, actually, no, we don't, because the mountains cover it. I was going to say be mindful of the seam allowance, on the first corner, but no, because I know there's mountains that go over there. Phew, that's good. I'm gonna leave that side because it's easy. Look at my terrible cutting. Oh well. Oh well. Back okay, to back to my embroidery machine. So I can see on McDreamy that the next one is also. So we're at water three, or they call it lake lake three and i'm gonna be careful not to put it quite so far as i did so remember folded fabric face down and it's going to stitch a line and then we're going to fold it over if you want to use a little bit of tape when you're folding it over that's fine every time don this is what we're going to do don don doesn't I use you can adjust the tail on it but it won't let you no, that's a multi-needle machine. Dear. Manually do it. It's manual labor. Manual labor? What <laughs> else do I have to do manually? Stampin' Sousa, she downloads the instructions on her iPad. No, oh, that's even better. Yeah, Brilliant. Using your tech. I do that quite a bit. Not sure why I didn't do it today. Um, at all. <laughs> and you can see the chat. Uh, well, that's why, yes. And normally I can just figure it out. And if I do it wrong, then you guys will know what not to do, right? Okay, back one more because I want to hit the tie-down stitches. I don't want to miss those because I don't want my stuff to come undone. So, folded fabric. Here we go. McDreamy, McDreamy. How I love my dream machine. I'm just saying that to make them feel better, right? All right, so the next step, you can see it's going to tack it down. So I'm going to pull the hoop out a little bit because this hoop is monstrous. And I want to make sure I get a good fold. So if you wanted to put tape or a little bit of spray to hold it down, you can um i don't find that it's necessary it seems to work out it depends on your fabric i guess um and mcdreamy doesn't really like tape so i try not to torture him with tape so yeah but i like it i love folded fabric designs there you go that's looking good see how pretty it looks oh i got my colors just right for the water 
Yeah, I, I really do like folded fabric for sure. Now that looks like water design. So what I'm going to do, I know my arms right in the camera way, but I'm just going to quickly trim this. I don't normally recommend doing this, but you with, know, with McDreamy's face cam, we totally didn't see a thing you were doing. <laughs> Why? Because he was blocking where you're cutting too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that trick. I'm going to do that again. Was that kind of a squeaky evil laugh or, kind of or what? So I'm going to put my blue in because this is the quilting on the water. So, which is nice. Generally, I prefer to do all the applique first. It's just kind of easier. That's just my preference though. I mean, it really doesn't matter. You can follow the instructions or look at McDreamy's face and you know what's next. It's just, I kind of sometimes hate changing threads that's all <laughs> that's all I, I love mcdreamy though okay so we're gonna do some quilting and we're gonna see how this blue is gonna look i'm so excited just just a pale blue hopefully i picked correctly and these are kind of random oh i did oh i love it you'll be able to see it in a sec kind of random watery flowy stitches and I think they're back stitches it looks like oh I think it's beautiful all right so that'll even even with all the grays it's just going to give us an idea of water without putting bright colors in it yeah come over here and look Don. It looks, oh yeah, oh yeah, you guys aren't catching half oh, of it. Oh yeah, you get different light on it. Yeah, I yeah, wish we could nice. show it better, but yeah, it's, like oh you can see it a bit. It's just a slight blue, but still falling in the grays. Isn't that yeah, beautiful? Yeah. All right. I just had to have a drink there. It's dry in this house. <laughs> I know. Oh, Bridget, thank you for reminding me. Where's Bjorn? Bjorn is right here. He can't sit beside the machine because uh, the hoop's too big. So he's right here. So he's over this way watching. We could put him like this. Does that work? Yeah. There we go. I'll probably knock him down, though. He's in my way. Have you checked the cutter and the fetcher. I had this issue. Hubby changed the cutter blade. Hmm. Good point. I hope I don't have to wait three months for that. They're just going to say that'll take six months to get the cutter blade. I know. Um, thank you. That is logical, Misha. And we'll look at that after McDreamy is done his beautiful stitching. He so is, he is cleaned out, but it could be could be maybe a new cutter blade. Maybe. Yeah, it would seem odd. I we, mean, we've tried so much. I'm not sure what else to try. So it's a good, a good idea. Hey, it's a great idea, and I know the plate had nicks in it, so it probably, uh, you know, probably had to do it anyways. So okay, new plate. I'm going to keep the other one in case of emergency, but if you move your laptop more down, you can see how beautiful it is. Oh, okay. Awesome. So hi, Len. Uh, Jill Scarsbrick. Hello. Hello. Oh yeah. Did you guys see my silly vlog yesterday? I, I wanted to beat the February blues and read everybody's comments and they were kind of funny and a nice lighthouse story and it was awesome so hopefully um you guys can watch it and comment and if it's a hit if you guys like it and think it's fun that maybe we'll do it every week so I, yeah I enjoyed the yes joyce says hi 
did I did and it was great I did thank you Carol <laughs> when I took my machine in they replaced the color cutter blade uh, yeah I'm not taking my machine anywhere we all know what happened last time when I took my machine in um, but that sounds like it might be the problem so yeah fab blog love the blog yay thank you saw it it was fun <laughs> So, um, okay, maybe, pardon me, Beth is asking where it's posted. the vlog, oh, it's on the channel, you'll be able to, when you go to the home page of the OML Embroidery channel, it should be right there under recent, so hopefully I have everything organized that it's easy for you guys to find stuff. So everyone's like your your vlog was so much fun. <laughs> you might see if there is a substitute blade you can use. Mine uses the small snap off pieces from craft blades. No way, Misha. Really? Okay, that's interesting. That's interesting. Susan Weehy, I watched and smiled. Yes, I saw your comments, Susan. That was awesome. And waving, waving, waving to Susan Weehy. Um, I just thought it'd be a chance for everyone to, you know, put their comments in and we can talk about them or questions or what will your next Anita Good Design project be? Spring one, two, three, or the kitchen bag holder. Those are my two favorites. So Brenda says those are the two we have to pick from. So that's that's funny. I know what you mean. Um, what we'll do is we'll put up a poll in the OML Embroidery University Facebook group, and we can pick some. Now I'm not opposed to doing the the larger ones and. Uh, you know the more expensive ones is what I'm getting at so hopefully nobody's gonna get too angry about that but I really want to do spring one two three with you guys um, I think it'll be fun Bridget says I didn't know your blog till I saw it too late haha <laughs> hope I can follow yeah you can the vlog is right on the channel okay so now we are doing part of the land. So let me make sure I have everything. So hill one, hill one, yes. Because we want it to match the piece before. So I just do want to make sure I have the right one. And I'm just going to leave that color thread in because it's just applique, so it doesn't really matter. So no more folded fabric. What a nice effect though. I really like it. Beautiful. So I'll have to do a little trimming on this one. So there's mountain, land one, land two, land three. See, we're getting through it pretty quickly. Yeah, not too bad. So if you were using, you know, bright, normal colors, you wouldn't have any, you know, problems with which one is which or anything, but because I'm using the grays, I gotta make sure the grays match. It's, uh, that's why I label everything, because they look the same. Uh, a bit more well, a bit more planning, I'm gonna yeah. say, Don. A little bit more planning. I have to sit and think about it, and as, you know, as long as I cut the right sizes, <laughs> I don't know how I could have mistaken the 5x7 for but anyways, stuff happens. That's fine. So that is going to match the one up there. So back to the desk, Dawn. Desk up. Thank you, thank you. Now I'm going to trim this down, this top part again with the hoop, sorry. This top part down a bit, but not right to the line because we got to leave seam allowance, but I just don't want it over the hoop just for camera issues. So hack that off. I don't care. It's still fine. Now we need the seam allowance here, but we don't need it anywhere else. So I'm just gonna cut into, 
and these shapes are so pretty now can you guys see the blue better maybe not what I usually do is take a pretty picture for you guys afterwards and it looks way better so yeah looking good I'm not gonna worry too much about my crappy trimming um Jill thank you very much um yeah it doesn't matter Don back to the machine Mick Dreamy is up, he says. All right, so next applique going down is Hill or whatever two. Yeah. And this is where my fancy printed fabric um, is going to go. So just just overlapping a little bit so the printed fabric still goes along with everything that I'm doing it's just kind of adding a little bit to it I think I'm quite happy with it so there we go just two I think we did the mountains two mountains with it so applique coming along once we start doing those long satin stitches, we'll be able to have um, a chat and I can read the comments a bit more. Did you write down the ideas, Don, for fixing McDreams? Um, no, but I will. Okay, I just don't want you to forget. Do, 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 do. Happy music. All right, we need to go back to the desk with my huge hoop it's huge and I'm gonna make sure I can cut all that and I'm gonna leave my seam allowance so that's what I was checking for just to make sure it's good doesn't matter if it overlaps if it overlaps that's fine you can trim it out later um, it's better have to have too much than too little so yeah so this one's fine but i'm just gonna leave it to here and i'm just like superwoman cutting today it's not very good take your time take your time don't do what i do right don right. for sure all right back to the machine i really like that little bit of printed fabric i think it looks really cute just you know standing out there so hill number three and i i i ay 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 i made sure that i used the darker hill fabric if you remember in my project bin i had it separated for sky you know light at the top darker darker for the or the darkest, I guess, for the, um, I gotta back up, hold on. Apparently I can't multitask very well today, but that's okay. There we go, get that stitch in there. And did I remember to thread it? I did. Um, dark, the darkest for the land, and then the medium for the water. So, it looks good. So, this will be dark again. After this, we only have one block left, so we're also um, going to have to figure out another sweet pea that we want to do. It's, uh, there's so many. There's so many. It's hard to decide because there's so many and they're so gorgeous. So, same with Anita Good Design. It's a little overwhelming sometimes. So, we'll figure out something, though. I'd like to do something bright and cheery and wonderful. Maybe a little complicated would be good, like new techniques. Um, I'm having so much fun with the Mylar. I, I'm thoroughly enjoying the Mylar. And uh, it, it's cool. So tomorrow we're stitching with Mylar. So there we go. And... Ooh, Trapunto is fun. Back to the desk, Don. 
Desk you know, I can always do Halloween stuff. However, I do understand that not everybody wants <laughs> to. I I just happen to you have. Do, you would do Halloween year round. I do Halloween year round. I and they go up on the walls and they stay there. There's nothing wrong with it. Nah, I don't. Know. It makes me happy. So what are you gonna do? And Christmas. It's just for me the the Christmas fabric is a little more difficult to get halloween fabric i just have acquired quite a bit of it not quite a bit i mean i'll run out eventually and be extremely sad but for now i have choices and i love it so yeah i'll have a snoop around you guys have a snoop around Maybe we can uh, leave some suggestions in the comments after the video and, um, you know, maybe figure out something cool to do. Um, I like that suggestion of the Trapunto. I think that would be really fun. I want to trim this just a smidgen better. So we're looking beautiful here on the lakefront. So butterfly blocks and wall hanging. Ooh. Don, back to the machine. Um, I could... Okay, butterflies, first of all, yay. Uh, second of all, I could use my new sweet pea fabric. So, can you write that down, Don? That would be cool. No Halloween, I want Santa. I know Santa Mom has been really, really good to me over the years, I'm going to say. Santa Mom rocks, for sure, for sure. I've never been much of a... I mean, I loved Christmas. It just... Um, I don't know how to put this without... I don't know how to put it. My family wasn't into it. I was, but it didn't matter because they weren't. And not Don's family, I mean my actual biological family. That it was just, it just became hard for me. So, and Halloween, I could just always do my own thing and bright colors and that. I mean, I don't particularly like Halloween at all. <laughs> like, the, the day doesn't mean anything. It's just the colors and the the you know, witches and goblins and the lore and the whole bit. It's just fun. That's all. That's all it is. Fun and bright colors. So there you go. That's my story. And I'm sticking to it. I guess you guys can't see anything unless I press the OK. So now, what parts are those? Does that look like water? Because I think it is. Back to the desk, Don. What, what's your best guess for the next thing that's up? It looks like water to me. Okay. We, we um, have a little electricity problem in the house. Not 100% sure. Um, so I wasn't able to print anything. The electricity problem is due to a breaker that broke. I wanted to say break because it would it sound cool. It wore out, so um, Beatrice is sitting upstairs in the dark because she doesn't have electricity in her, her room until Dawn is able to pick up the right thingy. Hopefully that will be ready soon. Uh, yeah, we're still in lockdown, so you can't just like go into the store and you know look at it and get what you need, so it's kind of awkward. And once we get that breaker put in, then we should be good to go. All right, Don, back to my brother dream machine, my most favorite embroidery machine of all. There we go. Yes, I think it's water, and we're meant to be using a different color, perhaps, uh, but I'm a not gun to. I just want to stick to my blues, my pretty blues. Whew, good job trimming there, Sue. Yeah, I'm sorry? People are going to be blown on their uh-oh. I, I get in trouble for that. Okay. Okay. There we go. Got rid of them. So, yes, it is water. Yay. Good guess. And it's going to stitch out 
in the blue. Hopefully looks blue enough. Yes, so it is the detail work here. Gonna look very thick over there. Oh yeah, that's pretty. I contemplated using a variegated thread, but I thought the blue in it would be too blue. I have some beautiful Floriani one, but I thought of it. So, uh-oh, Don needs, <laughs> needs info. My hubby is an electrician. Oh my god, that would be awesome. Well, if it's anything further than a breaker, be will be in the dark for a couple days because we can't get anyone to come to the house to fix it. So, we're fingers crossed um, that we have electricity. I think the most fun was that our main bathroom is also on that breaker. So, yeah, that was fun taking a shower in the dark. That, that was... That was fun. No, it wasn't fun. That was sarcasm. That's what that was. So these are waves crashing on the shore? Is that what that yeah. detail is? Cool. Yeah, it's beautiful. Now, if you were doing this in color, it would be nice to have, you know, darker blue in the water and maybe a lighter one for the, you know, the waves crashing in. I think it would look good. Seriously, hubby can diagnose how bad from past info. Eh, I know. I know. I was brought up in a free spirit, but we always had a Christmas tree and decorations just for the fun of it. Yeah, we always had Christmas trees. Like me growing up as a kid, we always had, you know, Christmas trees and decorate and she would bake and stuff like that but it wasn't really what it was supposed to be i made sure my kids had lovely christmases and you know kind of understood what christmas was and had wonderful memories but i don't know just how you were brought up right um but i do love christmas i love love christmas i love christmas with my children and my uh, in-law family it's for the last 10 years it's been wonderful wonderful <laughs> sounds like a camp shower <laughs> yeah i know i know it's kind of and i still stupid me i and b does it too still turning on the light like like it mattered it's such a habit to turn on the light these things i do drive myself crazy but you know okay so i think these satin stitches are really pretty and i'm pretty sure i got my blue color right because i think it looks delightful delightful it's awesome so this is one of my favorite designs the sweet pea designs I'm really happy with it. I will look at the uh, butterflies for Sweet Pea. I want to make the Dash Hound bag one day. I bought it like ages ago, but I haven't stitched it yet. Or just the Dash Hound, not necessarily in a bag, because, you know, we love our weenie dogs here. We have some hounds, but... Oh, that was a comment I didn't read, <laughs> read out loud. Someone says, what is a Beetlejuice? So, yes, Beetlejuice is our rescue beagle slash bloodhound. Uh, and he's a wonderful dog. We had to teach him to dog better than what he did. I don't think he'd ever been in a house. He dogs too well now. Now he dogs too well, yes. He's, he's the king of sleeping in and he gets kind of lazy. But he, he's a hunting dog, so he still has a lot of energy as well so we have a lot of fun with them and then we rescued another dog you guys have heard me talk about george cooney or tank i guess as he is officially known and he is a treeing walker coonhound and they are best buddies ever so 
they play. Uh, then I do have um, an older wire-haired weenie named Odie. He's the last of my babies. Um, we did have Gallifrey and Odie, but unfortunately Gallifrey passed away at the young age of five, so that was kind of tragic, so... You know, what are you gonna do? Odie is, um, ten. So he's our old dude, and he gets served. Served food on a plate, and yeah, tucked in, sound asleep. He's sweetheart, so... I love the way the water looks, and for the hundredth time, I love your fabrics. Well, thank you! I, I'm really happy I was stepping out of my comfort zone because when I first saw this design, what caught my attention was all the bright colors going down, down the whole thing. So the green, bright green grass, the bright blue of the water. Um, so it was kind of a, you know, a big step, I guess, to change this and make it into shades of gray. Uh, gray is kind of a funny color. I am enjoying it, but it's kind of a funny color. See, because if you look, this one looks tan. This one looks lighter tan. This one kind of looks brown. This looks gray, and this looks darker gray. So it's kind of kind of weird. Okie dokie. So that's probably it for my blue. Remember to pull your thread in the direction that it goes. So I'm going to take my blue off and Is this we. Variegated swirlies now? Yep, variegated yeah. swirlies. So there's my variegated thread and it's Floriani number 24 and it's stunning on this. It, oh, so beautiful. I was really happy how it turned out last time, so this is just a continuation of it. Now, I'm not going to use the variegated thread for the satin stitches that covers up all of our applique, because when you use variegated thread on uh, satin stitches like lettering or the applique parts, it turns out in stripes which is wonderful for lettering or different applications of it. It's just not cool for what I'm doing here. So, so we're just going to do it for the design that's backstitched. Uh, I just love it. I'm going to do the variegated thread on all of the land pieces. See, isn't that beautiful? We need to work on some quilting designs, you guys. That's what I think I want to work on next. I, I did some ruler work quilting. And I'm so happy with how it turned out. I did it on just like some little pieces of my patchwork pets quilt. So the purple pieces that were empty, I, I, quilted it myself freehand I was so excited so I'm working on that uh very darling but good choice what she also makes us buy specific line of Christmas bears because it benefits the St. Jude's Hospital well that's a good idea you know we did that years ago when my kids were little and Sears was actually a store in business and doing well that they had little toys that would come out and they were like little stuffed animals and they were beautiful and they came out for Halloween and for Christmas and it was for charity and I always made sure I got them for my kids and for me too Chris Yost thank you very much always appreciated every little bit helps the more cameras I actually don't think we can put any more cameras but you know it's, it's the thought. I would like to learn how to do machine quilted sashing. So, yeah, we can do that. Now, Misha, you have a luminaire, if I'm correct on that. And it has all that groovy stuff built in. See, that's what I want to check out on a luminaire. Um, but, yeah, sashing. We can do that. We can do that. Kmart. Yeah, Kmart is long gone. I know. 
I want uh, bought some EPP hexi shapes. Yeah, and we'll have a go during the week. My partner just looked at me and said, "Really? Yeah, mine did too." Don's like, "What are you doing? You're you're, you're cutting pieces of paper." And you want the, you know, a couple months into it. And you want the AccuQuilt that cuts little tiny pieces? Okay. But once he saw my tester stuff, he's like, oh, that's pretty cool. And then I talked him into doing the gluing with me. And we sat and watched a, a good movie and glued stuff. And it was, you know, kind of fun. So we're switching... Two. Oh, I wish we would go ahead and do all this stuff. Oh, okay. So I got to change threads again. Misha says she's got the topaz. Oh, yeah. What am I thinking? Oh, it's Duani who has the... Yeah, my bad. Sorry. Of course you have. Of course you have that machine. How could I possibly forget Misha? I get confused. I just hear Luminaire and my brain goes, I want one, I want one, I want one. So, yeah, I forget where I'm at. All right, we're going to do some satin stitches, and I don't want to do the variegated thread because um, I don't think I'd like it too much. So I'm just going to put on, like, a generic gray on it. So, yeah, how could I forget that Misha has that machine? I hope it's uh, delightful for you, Misha, by the way. I think of you often as we're stitching. You know. We still have one Kmart here, but it's closing in April. Yeah, it's kind of sad, isn't it? I remember Kmart, or in Canada we had Woolworths. Yeah. And Zellers just left like 10 years ago, not even that, because we had a big one at the end of our street. So, yeah, it's kind of... Kind of sad. Woolworth, yeah. I know. It's kind of weird. Isn't there Wolco too or something? Wolco, that's way back, 80s. Misha says, I love this machine. All right, you're doing some good work. Janet Nelson, in the hoop, quilting is what I need to learn. Okay. That I can help you with for sure. So, all right, I'm not going to use the variegated on this one because it already has a print and I want the print to stand out. So these are the quilting stitches. So, okay, I've done, I think, two videos on quilting in the hoop and how to hoop it and re-hoop it and everything like that. Um, but let me know what else that you want for that to learn and I will get on it for sure. So yeah, I'm just using a plain color so I don't take away, I don't want it to be too busy in this one. And I'm not really sure that you would see the variegated enough. So I'm just picking, just using a gray that you can see it and you can see the texture that we're getting, but it's not standing out like, wow. It's a nice, actually, it's a really nice, um, quilting design for this because it kind of gives it flow. I need to know where to get the design. Which design? This one, Janet? Um, or designs for in the hoop quilting. If I look at my phone and back to the TV, it looks like I've lost color. Everything is gray. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. I know, right? I know. I know. It's beautiful, though. It's beautiful. Um, it's it's kind of... It's different. You know, it's different. It's a challenge. I do love to challenge myself with embroidery. Just to step outside the box and see how it works. I mean, seriously, not everything I do works. It's kind of like, oh, really? Uh, but, you know, I always figure it's worth a try. And then you know what looks good and what doesn't look good. So I cringe every time you put your fingers near the needles. Yes, apologies for that. That is a bad habit that I have. 
I don't know when I picked it up. Uh, I would never do that on a multi-needle machine. I just, for some reason, seem to do it all the time with McDreamy. So, yes, keep keep cringing because it is not cool to do at all. And the stupid thing is I have my awl right here that I could use to hold stuff down or whatever I'm doing. Nah, I just put my fingers in there and risk everything. It's a bad habit that I have with multi-needle I got bit one. You got bit once. Are you still doing it, though? Yep. Oh. <laughs> I didn't learn. Ed Don got stabbed by which machine did it bite that got you? I think it was Terry. Ter oh, the new one. Terry's our ten needle downstairs. I ran my finger over one time, and that's all it took one time. Yeah, Don did that. And I, I, I'm not as daring that I do keep my fingers a little further away from the needle, but they do, they do get in there sometimes. I, I do need to stop because I don't want to be teaching anyone bad habits. I concentrate so hard on, you know, getting people to do things the right way, and I do that. So we're doing satin stitches, so I'm going to use the same gray for the satin stitches. And for this gray, I'll do the variegated, so the darker one and that one. I'm just looking at the patterns. I think the variegated should look good. So, just satin stitches left, you guys. We're rocking it out. It's going to take a little while to do the satin stitches, but bear with me. Bear with You're me. Right yeah, it's easy. I love the folded fabric, I love everything so far. I just think with bright colors, I like I said, I may do one with bright colors. Um, hurts when it hits. Yeah, I know. Sharon says I had to go to the ER to get the needle removed. I tried to pull it out with pliers, but I couldn't get it out. Uh, our nurse, Sam, she was in, what, third year? Yeah. Third year nursing. She just jumped right at it, and she was able to pull it out for dawn and then of course when you break a needle especially when you break a needle you know in your finger you got to find all the pieces so we ran around and um found all the pieces for it and he was okay it, it just kind of hurt and it's kind of scary so yeah be careful be more careful than i am Oh my gosh, Sharon. Yeah, a lot of people have done it. I don't know if you guys know, but in the OML Embroidery University Facebook group, we have a patch for that. So if you've done, if you've had your finger stitched, so to speak, you can stitch yourself out the merit badge that says the, what is it, the finger club? The... I don't know. Yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember. But it's in the files section and there's um there's a couple of them. I don't really remember what they are, but there's some of them. There's a lot of files in there, so you have to look. But they're merit badges. So feel free to give yourself um a merit badge, stitch it out and you know, just place it near your machine or something. Are you gonna do one that says don't stitch your face? Don't stitch your face. No, it's probably kind of a weird saying. <laughs> I, our saying. I, I know we have weird, we say weird things. So when we're really tired, we make jokes. Actually, we make jokes all the time. And one time when I first got my machines, I had someone over and they were just absolutely fascinated with the multi-needle machine. And they kind of put their head sideways to get a really close look at it. I almost peed my pants. I'm like, no! So, yeah, don't stitch your face. Something really hard to do. So, when we're tired, that's what we say. I'm so tired, I need to be careful that I don't stitch my face to the fabric. So, it's silly. But, you know, that's what we are. We're silly. Oh, I need that badge. Yeah, hop into the group. It's there. And it's, um... It's quite cute, actually. Um, it's a finger and with a little drop of blood, and it says the whatever club. 
which I thought it was fun. I use a chopstick. I order a lot of my supplies from Amazon and a lot of the stuff uh, benefits St. Jude. Awesome. Awesome. I try as much as possible to shop local. Now, we live in a small-ish town, and I do believe there's only one fabric place here. There used to be a big fabric land, which was just <laughs> perfect for me running the business, but it's not the fabric land left a lot of places, so now we have to drive far away to get it. Um, but I try to shop local, shop online local, and if it's something I need right away, then I'll order on Amazon too. But I do try to do the local. I'm a local business, so I try to support the local business. But if you can't, you can't, and I do it too. I'm not saying anyone's wrong or, you know, judging or anything like that. It's, um, I just try. Yeah, I try as much as possible. It doesn't always work. Um, but you can also support local and shop on Amazon. So one of our um, places that we've been dealing with for years is called Super Punch. It's a Canadian um, company. They have thread and backing. This backing that I'm using on this is from there. And he puts this stuff on Super on uh, Amazon, so when we buy from Amazon, we're still supporting him. I know Amazon gets some of the money, but still. All right, so I'm um, changing my thread really quickly to my variegated. And this would be so pretty in a bright green. I'm thinking batiks for this if it wasn't so gray black and white. See, my nails should brighten things up so you know you're not watching a black and white TV, right? I think so. There we go. More variegated gorgeousness. So, yes. I order quite a bit from Amazon in the UK. That's how I can get stuff from the USA far more cheaply. Yeah, ditto here. Uh, I order from Super punch and Monfin. Yeah, nice. Super Punch Johnny is great. We've been dealing with Johnny for years, so Johnny is the guy who owns it. Almost 10 years. So, and his stuff is uh, good quality. I prefer to purchase from Johnny than like Gunold. Gunold makes you buy huge, huge quantities. And Johnny Super Punch, you can pick what you want. And we also like it because it's Canadian and we don't get to do that often enough. So it's nice. It's nice. Darn spell check. I meant Fabric Land. Uh, I know. I kind of miss Fabric Land. Um, nah. There's Stabilizer with that's called super stable that's the best i absolutely support super punch products yeah he's great he's great so literally this um cutaway mesh cutaway that i'm using is super punch because you can get big small whatever you want and you get it really quickly and can it's you, in canadian can you get it can you get it in big rolls like stabilizer no no smarty pants. Don's like, can, can I get it in big enough rolls like I buy it? No, Don. He buys, I don't know, like a hundred meters or a hundred yards, whatever. What's that? 250 meters at 60 inches wide. 250 meters at 60 inches wide for stabilizer. Pretty sure Johnny doesn't do that, but you know. You know. That he gets. See, that's where you go to uh, a bigger wholesale company because he's literally buying in bulk and it works but not for me I don't need that Cindy Cindy King Lila's here hello Cindy King hello Cindy King I like Cindy King's message 
on the vlog. She thought it was cute. Did I miss it live? No, it wasn't live. It wasn't live. It was just, uh, Sue having fun. And you can see my big messy office and I'll have to take you guys on a tour. That'll be like a vlog. And if Don cleans up his office, we'll take a tour down in his office with the many machines, but it won't happen. Lila, hello, Lila. Superpunch.com. Yeah, it's a great place, or you can look for it on Amazon. You know, it's better to buy directly from Johnny, but, you know, also Amazon. It's, he it's. Have his full stock on Amazon no, he doesn't have his full stock on Amazon. But, get what you want. The thread is good, too. The water soluble stabilizer, the fabric kind, that's also what I use in the videos. That's also um, super punch stuff, and I love it. I absolutely love it, so it's nice. No fun without you. <laughs> what? Don't have fun with Don Brown. Messy Don, it, you have no idea. I, I don't go down there too often because I'm like, really? Ogon is the WSS. That is the name. You are correct, Nancy. Thank you very much. Which is, I mean, it's a Quebec company, so O means water. It's E-A-U, water. Water gone. So, yeah. You still know what it is, for sure. I have some of their stabilizer. Didn't realize it till after you mentioned them. Oh, well, there you go. There you go. It's nice. Um, I love the Ogon WSS from Super Punch. It's the stuff that I use, and I made sure Lynn, when she got her machine, I made sure Lynn um, had, you know, high quality stuff to use. So I gave her Super Punch stuff. So, yeah, it's great. What's that? This thread is good. I mean, uh, some of our machines don't have uh, The multi-needles, we have very picky multi-needles. Yeah, I used the thread on um, McDreamy, and I think I can use it on Ragnar. He doesn't mind it, but the production machines are like, nope, no thank you. Nope, nope, nope. So they're just kind of funny. Uh, Super Punch is also the place to go for machine needles. Ah, see, we haven't had to buy machine needles for 10 years, so, yeah. Yeah, that's beautiful. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, so I don't have to keep changing back and forth, is I'm going to skip ahead, and the next one is going to be the stitching in here which is my variegated thread and then I'm gonna back up and just do all the stitching just just Run, easy oh goodness <laughs> but then they get mad because I'm putting my hands there that was a little bit too close even for me I think this is yeah don't do that don't do that no so after this stitches, I'm going to get back, I'm going to change my thread, and I'm going to go back and do the satin stitches. But, you know, I am loving how this turned out. This part here, I guess it's out of the frame, it'll come back up, my big hoop, um, looks gorgeous with the variegated thread. It looks, abs it looks like a sandy kind of beach almost because it's in gray. It's really cool. Nice effect. I can't always be colors what I, I'm, I'm missing. I'm missing. I love that variegated thread. Yeah, it's really nice. Um, I love variegated thread when you use it properly, like in the right places. And this is definitely the right places. I think it's awesome. Some of my favorites are like the pumpkin colors, or I don't know if you guys have ever seen it, but like um, Christmas colors. So it's red, white, and green variegated thread. Oh man, I could do lettering all day with that kind of, that color. Um, Lynn, Sweet Pea has awesome freebie if you wanna try it. 
Well, yeah. One thing I want to introduce Lynn to, um, I'm going to get her to run McDreamy, but just for fun and it's easier and all the cameras are set up. Um, I want her, because she's only done in the hoop projects, I want her to like embroider on a t-shirt and I'll show her how to hoop that and do everything there because it, it's completely different than what she's been doing and frankly what we've been doing that you have to hoop both things so that's what I want to work on with Lynn and then she can move on to that and practice hooping sort of thing she loves love love loves doing mug rugs on her little machine happy as pie picking out her wild colors and giggling I'm sure after every one she finishes oh she did a ton of penguins a ton and everyone she gave them to was really impressed so I mean it's nice and Mickey is just a small machine so gets them out puts them where she wants stitches love it I have my McDreamy 2 packed up to go for its checkup my self threader broke yeah I wouldn't survive without my self threader either I feel for you I feel your pain because I wouldn't deal with it either I'm not I'm not I think it's hard enough haha -ha, changing threads I am so totally not going to thread anything either. I always did on the multi machines when I was doing production, but I, I, I don't know why I won't do it on this, but you know. What kind of machine does Lynn have? Um, sorry, I had to drink. She has an older single needle what yeah I never remember we just got it used for her so she has five by seven and four by four and it's you know obviously been discontinued the absolute perfect machine for her it took us like a month to find the right one perfect machine for her um, it doesn't have anything fancy schmancy or anything and that's what she liked. Why is McDreamy not tracking the needle position on the view of his screen? Eh, maybe I changed it. I don't know. Good point. I don't know because usually you see here. Hmm. Yeah, you usually do. I didn't even notice. I didn't even notice. Probably a setting. I love the variegated. It's amazing. So all I did there was back up by color. So I, I don't have to go forward or back or anything. And we're going to go back to the satin stitches now. So yeah, good point. I don't, I, I don't actually pay much attention to it, but it's probably um, a setting that I will look at afterwards and see there's um, a little green is it green yeah green cross that shows you where you are i don't know why i don't pay attention to it i don't though. i usually see it but it wasn't even oh no, it doesn't yeah it does oh it's just hard to see ah it was hiding back here so there's the marker right here it's pretty hard to see yeah, I didn't see it, but I was looking in the wrong spot. It's kind of small. I wonder if I should change the um, color again. What's the matter? We might need some new cords. Oh, I saw the light change. We might need some new cords, Don. Uh, yeah, it might be time to replace them. Yeah. Make a note. I think they like to hike up the price because we spend a lot for it. Cost me one ninety nine each for just a checkup on my destiny and flourish. Now, what did we pay at that unnamed store 
when McDreamy, when I used a really old thread. I think it was like $400. And when I got it back, it didn't stitch because it still had the problem and you could actually still see it. So then we were kind of in a panic. We went to the Rose Cottage Quilting Shop in Windsor, which is delightful people in there. And he actually did the work and pulled out a ton of the caught thread and didn't even charge us like half of that. It was an expensive spool of thread that I knew better and I knew not to use and used it anyways. But yeah, we were like, really? I was so mad. I don't get mad very often. I was kind of mad at that. Kind of frustrated. I think the reason we can't see the cursor so much is because it's um, dark. Maybe. Heck, I couldn't even see it, and I'm right in front of it, I'm so. My dealer charges 149 for the machine and 149 for the arm embroidery arm repairs. And it takes almost four months. Woo. Woo. I, I don't know what I would do. Four months. Well, when we took it to the Rose Cottage quilting, we, we told them that we have a whole bunch of people waiting and we need McDreamy. And um, they were really quick about it. I think Don picked it up the next day, which was, I was so thankful. And he was cleaned and properly cleaned and you know, re-oiled, all that stuff. I was like, oh, thank goodness. So, yes, they will get our business again. Comment? No, what'd she say? Delivering a parcel to a customer the other day. His neighbor has huge googly eyes on his front door. All right, googly eyes on the front door. That's my idea of fun. Oh, I guess you can't see the... The googly eyes have been covered up this whole time. Yeah, McDreamy has googly eyes. All you can say is, Sue was here. You know where I am because it has googly eyes. I went into Beatrice's room and I put googly eyes on her secondary monitor. And she's like, Ma, did you put googly eyes on? Yeah, of course I did. She's like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, did you expect anything different? Come on, come on. I know. It Fun. Mine had a thread hung. It took it to my dealer. They pulled the thread out, oiled the machine, no charge. Wow. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. I think McDreamy's frozen again, Don. Yep. Uh, make sure we get new cables by this McDreamy. This one is. Yeah. Aren't you on? No, I already did. Oh. That's not this one? That's no. Okay. There, there we go. All right. Can you make a note? I got a note front and center. New USB cables and long ones, too. So, yeah, my TV froze. Yep. Sorry, it's our cameras. Um, we have, you know, obviously cables going all the way to my desk and you know what eventually they wear out so when you start having troubles like that then you know it's probably the cables it's the first thing to try Brenda says your mic keeps cutting out every once in a while really now that would be you too yeah I wish they'd put my thumbnail up while we're waiting for everything to start that's frustrating. However, I really, really like how I changed the channel so it's easier to find what you guys are looking for. Me too. It's it's easy to find the lot and I can double check easy. I don't have to log in and do everything. You know, not on our view. Yes, I've seen on Facebook where people are putting googly eyes on packages in grocery stores. That's a hoot. Yeah, that would be funny. 
That would be funny. We had glow in the dark googly eyes. They're over at my other desk, though. But they're cute. I love googly eyes. I know, it's, you know what? It's just a silly thing that I do. Um, I refuse to grow up. I have a mortgage and pay the bills and run a business and all that kind of stuff, but I'm still a kid. And I think it's great. I'm very happy with being silly and not everybody appreciates it. However, I know how to have fun, right? I have no problem with audio. As long as you and Don, Don don't freeze. Yeah, that was us for sure. Um, I'm watching on my iPad and there's a delay. So sometimes that might take a minute. When you guys see it, it's always on. <laughs> Sue needs to make a Google Eye mug rug. Yeah, with lots of eyeballs on it. I could actually do some nail art with eyes on it. It's kind of like a Halloween design and it's kind of fun. Maybe I will do that. I don't know. <laughs> My partner thinks I am 12. Yeah, yeah. When Don and I met, I told them exactly who I was. I want to play Lego, I do coloring books, paint rocks, and I'll make you laugh your head off every day. And it's true. Isn't it, Don? Yep. It's true. Don is just as silly, except for when we first met, most adults just naturally hold back the silly. And now we have Nerf Gun Wars and goof around like fools all the time so yeah you gotta have fun make your own fun i haven't been out of the house in a freaking year so i'm seriously gonna make my own fun right it's been a it's yeah. been a while you know but that's okay hey we're almost done we have one more satin stitch set to do and it shouldn't take too long so remember this next step here I've already done. So we need to go into. I'll wait till he's done his dance. Oh, look at how beautiful that is. I love it. And we want to go forward to this one. So we're skipping the inside because we already did it. And now we're going to do our satin stitches. So as long as you remember the order that you're doing it, it's okay to skip around like that. Um, just don't, you know, get confused. So this is the last one. We'll let this stitch out and then we'll have a look. And in the meantime, I will chat. The best part of being an adult is being able to do whatever you want and no one can tell you not to. And you have adult money to spend on toys. Yeah, you gotta have some control too. I, 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 yeah, I could. I could spend a lot of money, but I don't, so I'm getting much better at spending money on myself, but not Luminaire better or anything like that. Ha! Huh. Good morning, all. Sad I am running behind. My reminder didn't go off. I will have to catch the replay. Yep, it, it's a little bit longer than normal, but it's worth it because the stitches are stunning. It looks fantastic. I have a hubby and I do whatever I want. Yeah, the, our problem is I guess we work a lot because we work at home. So every day we work. So we have to kind of like break it up a little bit. We can't really go anywhere or do anything. But Lynn, my husband is worse than I am, but we only have kids every other weekend yet yeah, my kids i still have one here beatrice for two more years and she's not a kid she's 20 <laughs> so pretty self-sufficient although we have to feed it so other than that we're good no you can't sell it you don't get any money for them when they're 20. see that's how we joke around <laughs> Work hard, play harder. Well, that's why I have a Harley Davidson, because that's my play harder. And Don and I can just take off whenever we want. 
Runog, hello! Hello, I didn't even say... I didn't even see your name! So, hello, and thank you very much! And happy Valentine's Day! Awesome! Never apologize for having fun. Life, life can be a drag. Sue Shive says that. Yeah, I know. If you can't, uh... If you can't laugh and have fun, then you need to change something, so... Yeah, we have fun. We we fun. I have one here, 21. Yeah, B's in second year university for nursing. Sam, of course, is already a nurse. She's been a nurse for a year and a bit. And she found a wonderful, wonderful apartment. So she's happy there. Which was nice, kind of, and very difficult when she got COVID and she wasn't here and i'm not ready to not be mommy yet I, i'm good about it but deep down i'm like bah! it was kind of funny but <laughs> ronog there she is did you say hi don to ronog ronog two teenage grandchildren live with me so it's crazy in my house teenagers what fun they are um, yeah, yeah, teenagers. We're well beyond that. We're not quite ready for the grandparent thing, but it would be acceptable. <laughs> right, Don? Yep. yep. Yep, yep, yep. I have six grandchildren. It's always fun. Yeah, I would love that. I could handle that. I, I think I'll be a excellent grandma. I was an excellent stay-at-home mom. And had lots of fun with my kids, so yeah. Old enough to know better, but young enough not to care. Ha ha ha. Do you guys have millennials? Because Sam, even though she's of that generation, she is not of that generation. Yeah, Beatrice is like three quarters millennial, and it's not impressive. We love her to pieces, don't get me wrong, but. The entitlement millennialism is like, ugh. We just got notice last night that the 17-year-old girl my husband has been financially responsible for is being sent to us to live within the next several months. He's never met the child. Oh, good Lord. Um, well, pat on the back for being financially responsible that's wonderful every child needs support but that that's gonna change your lifestyle there um seven grandkids with three of them are grand i can't say that word because apparently i'll get demonetized if they find it but yes pandemic your dog is treated like a five-year-old <laughs> spoiled run well, yeah. I mean, yeah. You should see Odie sitting on um, his his leather couch with one, two, three, four blankets curled up in a sleeping bag roasting. Now, that's spoiled. Um, that's spoiled for sure. I have six grandchildren, four in Nova Scotia and two teenagers in the UK. Oh, that's awesome. I think Sam wants to be a nurse in the UK because we're kind of part of the UK and we're a commonwealth that everything in Canada transfers over to the UK so she was she was kind of talking about that she thought that would be neat I lived in the UK for two years I lived um, right near Stonehenge on a military base and it was wonderful okay happy music Hold on, happy music. Blah. All right, back to the desk, Don. I'm gonna dust this off so I don't get in trouble by anyone. Look, oh, I don't know how well you guys can see it. Just a hint of blue. And yes, the variegated, it stands out more than I thought it would, but I think it looks amazing. I'm so happy with how this turned out. The one gray looks like a navy blue. The land on the right hand side. Yeah, it's a darker gray. It's darker than that. So, 
yeah so look this is how it's looking isn't that nice oh that's gonna have a nice flow to it so pretty i'm really happy with it i'm really happy so the w water is not as light as the clouds so which is cool yeah, it looks good. this is going to be so much fun so you're going to put the suit cam back on I don't can do the suit cam suit cam is up oh no yeah is it is it is it is it <laughs> so thanks everyone for watching thanks for the wonderful chat i love to hear about everyone's grandchildren and how everyone's doing it's wonderful i told you a couple of personal things so you know um thanks for supporting the channel thanks for watching every little bit helps give the video a like share it around as much as possible don't forget to check out my vlog because if it gets you know decent views i'll keep doing it and i think we can have a lot of silly fun with that so thanks everyone for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video tomorrow bye bye everyone